321 I think it's still a uh, worthwhile price here so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it here really quick um, other than that yeah the big changes this year when it comes towards the Nintendo switch OLED seems to be the increase in the screen size of the display and obviously moving over from LCD to to OLED is uh, definitely significant um, so it is uh, definitely a big change from the previous OLED. Um, going uh, from 6.2 inches to, to 7 inches is definitely a worthwhile screen size increase. Only thing is, is they never changed the resolution, so it's still a 720p display, um, other uh, just like the previous Switch, so that's a little bit of a dis disappointment here. Um, other than the increase in resolution, obviously there's a huge reduction when it comes towards the actual bezels itself. Um, the actual dimensions stay the same other than it getting 0.1 inches longer, um, but still a huge reduction in bezels is definitely uh, worth it. Um, what I'm also looking forward to is obviously the new kickstand on this Nintendo Switch. I know they, it was a huge difference compared to the actual original. And I'm definitely looking forward to that. But so far, let's see. Yeah, so there's that huge kickstand. And wow, it does get pretty, pretty back there, as you can see. Um, <laughs> let's see if I can put this down here really quick. And yeah, wow, that is actually kind of nice. Changing it from different kind of orientations here. All right, so that is awesome. Obviously, it now goes the full width of the actual entire console. Also back here looks to be the actual micro SD card slot. I heard this still stays to two terabytes of expansion. Um, so you can put in up to two terabytes when it comes to the micro SD uh, card. I know the internal storage is increased from actually 32 a gigabytes to actually 64 gigabytes from the previous model so that is definitely a well work uh well well welcome change here you got the usb here slot on the bottom so that is also uh, welcomed um, other than that kickstand here i do see you have the power button the normal volume up and down rockers you also have the speaker grill which i understand the whole entire speaker system was reworked uh, from the previous nintendo switch they kind of still obviously sit at the bottom of the the handheld uh, but i heard it's it's uh, basically one to each side and they'll offer like enhanced audio way better compared to the actual original switch so I definitely look forward to that. I know the battery life remains the same from the refreshed Nintendo Switch, not the actual original launch one, which was um, at 2.5 hours to six, uh, six and a half hours of battery life on this, the, this Nintendo Switch. And obviously the refreshed one, it's up to four and a half hours to nine hours when it comes to the battery life itself. So battery life wise, I'm very, I'm very happy about that. Um, other than the, the battery life, the handheld mode still remains 720p and the dock mode is still 1080p. And speaking of the dock here, let's see if I can get this out here really quick. All right, there is the actual dock itself. There's definitely been some changes when it comes uh, towards the Nintendo Switch dock from the previous models. So let's see if we can get this out here. All right, there it is. And it's got a nice rubber grip here at the bottom, which is kind of nice. I know this I saw comes out just like that. That was pretty easy. And then you get the AC adapter here, the HDMI out, the actual ethernet port or the LAN here. And then obviously the cables can be routed through this slot. Let's see, let's see how the Nintendo Switch kind of fits in here. Yeah, it's, it's nice, easy to take out. You also get two USB-A slots here in the front. 
um, and obviously there uh, there seems to be some type of LED switch here and I don't know what that's for it's got a little kind of monitor symbol next to it oh I guess that's probably an indication maybe like the TV if it's connected to the TV or not I really don't know um, don't quote me on that but yeah other than the dock let's see if there's anything else in here so just a ton of cables apparently yeah, so you got some HDMI cables here. Let me kind of zoom out. What else do we have here? AC adapter. I'm not sure if there's anything exciting about that, but let's see if we can get it out here. If I can get it out the right way, there it is. So there's the Nintendo Switch adapter here. And it's just a normal power brick with the USB-C end here on the other side. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, so we have an, uh, a handheld kind of wrist here uh, for the Nintendo Switch. Like, uh, let's see, yeah, a, a wrist strap. Yeah, so it looks like there's a wrist strap for the Nintendo Switch here. I guess it goes on to one of the sides and you'll have an actual wrist strap here for your wrist. Actually, there's two of them here. Yeah, so there seems to be two in the package. Maybe I'm wrong. This is maybe for, I don't know, uh, the joysticks. Uh, yeah, we really don't know if this is for the actual Nintendo Switch itself or the joysticks, but there seems to be two of them in the package. What else is in here? And this is our I think I remember for the actual joysticks itself, so it can be more comfortable to, to hold and more of a kind of like controller. So you should be able to take these Joy-Cons out and put them on the left and right hand side. Let's see if we can do that. So let's see if we can put these in. Yep, just like that. Let's get the other one out here. And so let's put it in as well. Yeah, so just like that, that is pretty nice here. So yeah, this is this is actually really good. So you can play it more like a controller using the, the actual original joystick. So that is, uh, that's pretty awesome here. Let's see if we can get these out here and then turn the uh, Nintendo Switch on here. So let's see, and I don't know how to get these Joy-Cons out but I will figure this out. There it is, looks like it is. Boom, gotta slide out and then let's get this left one out here. All right, so let's see if we can put this on the actual Nintendo Switch itself and get this powered on here for the first time. All right, so let's hold the power button down here. And move that one more in, there it is, perfect. All right, for while we're waiting for the Nintendo Switch here to fully power on. Oh, looks like it is already on. So let's see. Yeah, already got those joysticks on. Want me to do it again? Sure. All right, let's try this again. All right, so let's see. All right, yep, perfect. All right, like really liking what I'm seeing here from the OLED display. So we're going to select English. We're going to go ahead and choose the, the Americas here. We're going to accept these terms and conditions that nobody reads. And searching for networks here. All right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here so you guys can see. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network a little bit here off screen. You guys can guess which one it is. All right, perfect. All right, excellent. So it's connecting to the internet. And it's taken uh, quite a bit of time here to connect to the internet. At least it's got this cool sound and it's going kind of back and forth here. Still connecting. And it's oh, unable to connect to network. Let's see why. Unable to obtain IP address. So 
Give me a moment, let me try this again off screen and see if this connects. Maybe a password issue here. So give me one second. All right, that looks good. Let's try this again. All right, let's bring this a little closer here. So successfully connected to the internet. All right, time zone. So let's see, do we have New York? New York, Toronto, yeah, that'll work. Would you like to connect a TV and play on a larger screen? Let's do that later here. And detach the Joy-Con controllers from the console. Do not press any additional buttons when detaching the controllers. Hold the button on the back of the controller and slide it out. All right, so what you want me to do that right now. Let's see if we can give that a shot here. So that's one of them. And let's see if we can get the other one out. All right, use the left stick to select next and then press A on the right controller. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're probably gonna need both controllers here, but I'm obviously holding the switch here. All right, use the console with the Joy-Con controllers attached or detached. Choose the controller style you prefer, then press continue. So let's go with that there. User will be added to your console. Porn data like save data is linked to each specific user on the console. All right, so let's create a new user here. And we're obviously going to select that because that is the best. And let's nickname the user here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in my first name here. There it is, perfect. And we're going to link a Nintendo account later here. We're going to skip on adding another user. So Nintendo Switch Online, more games, more features, more fun. Nintendo Switch Online is a membership that grants access to a variety of services for your Nintendo Switch, online play, save data to the cloud, and more. All right, so yeah, don't need parental controls here. Setup is complete, so we just need to press the whole, uh, home button on this right Joy, uh, Joy, Joy-Con controller here. Yeah, it says insert a game. So. All right, guys, that is it here. We successfully unboxed Nintendo Switch and set it up. So I'm gonna look forward to playing some games on it. But first, before I do that, I'm going to get a screen protector installed. I may have a video of that. But if you guys like the video, please like. If you guys want to see more, please subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day and stay safe out there.